Hey guys, this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. Today I'm going to talk about adding a, another Asus router to my setup. So I have an Asus AI mesh system and that is a um, setup where you can use not any Asus router but a lot of different routers and um, they will connect to each other and then extend your Wi-Fi but the benefit of it over a like a uh, Wi-Fi extender or something is to all of your devices it looks like the same seamless network and so they all communicate you can walk around and um, you know it's a seamless thing you don't have to pick a different um, you know Wi-Fi SSID or anything so I'm going to show you how you can add it there's two ways the easiest way really is with the app so I'll show that and then I'll also show the web-based version uh, there obviously is a little bit more um, features in the web base but the app does it for pretty much everything you need so what this here is is a um, it's RTAX 55 and you can kind of see this is uh, how I got it from Amazon so it's used I love Amazon warehouse for stuff like this um, I find it actually a little bit cheaper than um, than like Facebook marketplace sometimes you don't have to deal with with people but um, it's all based off your luck so um, I just looked for basically the cheapest one that was AI mesh compatible and you can either find that out on Asus website um, which I actually found kind of outdated um, as far as it doesn't have all the latest stuff if it's a, if it's an AX one I think it's guaranteed um, to be mesh I could be wrong there but I'm pretty sure all the AX which is Wi-Fi 6 um, are compatible some of the older um, AC or even older ones not all of those are compatible so you have to check for that but um, once you get that in, it's fairly easy. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure all your firmware is updated. And so for me, I already have my mesh set up here, but it's really the same procedure whether you already have a mesh up or you don't. So uh, to do this, I'm going to go into the app and I will show you what I will do here. All right, so I'm just going to open up my Asus app and this is what I have right now you can see that I have my main router which is right there now that's a RTAC88U and then I have four different nodes right now and um, some of them are daisy chained you can see and then other ones are direct back to um, the router um, and see so just updated actually how it's how it's set up so sometimes it will they'll hop around based off what the best um, connection is for them so Anyways, that is set up, and now if I want to add one, I'll go up here to the top of the plus. But like I said, if this is the first time you, you're doing it, you do want to um, go in here and uh, update the firmware. So this will typically show you, it'll give you a little header bar, I think in like yellow, and it'll say, hey, you know, new firmware is available. So the app automatically checks for you. Um, so I could go in here and, um, and verify that. You can look right there on the firmware. You can also do that on the um, web um, browser version and update the firmware. Once you do that, um, you do need to make sure that your new unit is factory reset. So I've already reset this one, so it's factory reset. And uh, that's the only way that they can find your, um, your new node. So let me plug this guy in, let it get powered up here. All right, so that guy is powering up now and you know what you want to do when you're setting them up you do want to have them close together you know technically if it was anywhere in range of that it would work but it's just it's one of those things where it works better if it's close and that way you don't you know you don't have an issue with it connecting you don't have to plug it in with ethernet back to the main router you can do this all wirelessly um, that's not a problem and then but there is an option that you can hook it up with ethernet for ethernet backhaul and um, to do that, you just go to the, um, the WAN port, you know, the blue port of your node back to a ethernet yellow port of your main router. And um, then there's a setting in here, I'll show you that you can tell it, hey, prefer that ethernet over wireless. Otherwise, sometimes it can um, do the Wi-Fi one, even though you would obviously prefer ethernet back home. So, okay. And so one thing I will say while this thing is booting up is you can have your um, nodes be daisy chained where it's one after the other. The, the downside to that is you don't want to have that multiple of them that are Wi-Fi 
because you're going to start getting a lot of Wi-Fi uh, congestion going on, and it might slow down uh, for each of those legs. So, if you're going to if you're going to do a lot of daisy chaining, I really suggest you do Ethernet uh, backhaul so you can get rid of that um, that downside to it. Otherwise, you can do more of the star pattern where you have a router kind of in the center, and your nodes are all spread out more in a star pattern, but meaning they all connect directly back to the main router. So to add a node, there's two options here. One on this main page, there's a little add node button. The other thing is you can go in here to the settings, AI mesh, and you can say get started. And now what it's gonna do is it's going to search for a default setting. This is why it needs to be a factory reset is so it can find it if you um, you know make your own uh, username, password, SSID, it's not gonna find it. So there it is, that's my AX. I'm gonna tell it um, that this is a home location. Actually, I'm gonna make this, um, so I'm gonna make this probably actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in my kitchen eventually. So let me go and tell it kitchen, and then hit apply. And now it's going to pair this node back to that main router, and it does take some time to do that. All right, so now it says that it is done, and then you know I could add another node. So if I was adding multiple ones, I could obviously just keep going. Um, but now if I go back to my home screen, you can see that now it's created a new um, device in there where it's added it. On the website um, or browser, you can go in there and type in router.asus.com. The other option is um, the default IP address, which is typically 192.168.0.1. Um, Type in your login information, and then you can see here um, at the top. So I'm using um, the Merlin firmware, so my firmware looks a little different, but to update it, you just click on that firmware button you go here to check it will check the server um, to make sure that your firmware is up to date or not uh, so I'll give it a second here to do that and then there you go you can see that I have the latest version um, for everything except for this AX55 so I might as well go ahead and uh, get that guy updated alright so I can actually click uh, firmware upgrade and I can have that downloaded and updated for myself. All right, so that is now uh, updated. So I know that these are all good. And then I can go back here. Um, I can see my AI mesh nodes. And then I can click search. So, you know, this will be the same thing. I would have the router in factory default for the node, the new one. And then I would click the search button and it would search for available nodes obviously i don't have any so uh, nothing's going to show up but that would be how i would i would go and find it and then after you do that it's really best to go ahead and restart all right so that's all there is to it um it's hooked up and working and um it all you know figured out how to do the uh the mesh network and I kind of told it um, which one I would prefer to connect to because it has the fastest connection and after rebooting the whole system um, it now connects that way and did some speed tests so I'm, I'm happy with it um, of note you know you can hook up I think nine different nodes um, but Asus doesn't recommend more than seven and I would say in my experience you know the the seven is a lot you know I have um, what's that five nodes plus the main router the thing that you're gonna run, run into like I said before is for any of those you really want to have some Ethernet backhaul in there to help uh, lower that Wi-Fi um, congestion because otherwise they'll start to stack up like uh, interstate during uh, rush hour so uh, overall I'm happy with my system I'm glad I'm um, added this uh, this new one um, into the mix and I actually did it because I uh, added the one to the uh, the back bar and I have a video out there of how I how I got the Wi-Fi actually from uh, one barn all the way back to the to the last barn without running Ethernet cable um, and uh, so that's a whole different video that you guys can watch 
Um, but thanks for watching this, um, how you add a node and uh, take care.